just looking here, this is a neighbour's wheat. And if you look now, there's pigeons all over it. Need a pound coin for scale. It's a nice size there. The cover crop. It's now day 98 of um, lockdown learning, cab isolation. I'm back in a cab. Uh, this field is uh, the spring wheat that I sown on the very first day. So it's 98 days old now. Um, we're just in with a sprayer now, putting uh, some liquid fertilizer on. It's a little bit late, but we're hoping it'll feed the grain and we'll end up with a bit, of, bit, a bit better protein. We didn't give it too much fertilizer in the beginning because we had such a drought sort of a few weeks ago and we didn't think it had much potential at all and wouldn't have utilized it. Now, um, we've, we've not got a bad looking crop. It's um, Obviously, it's it's got plenty of moisture now. I think we've had about nearly six inches of moisture. This is the drain we did actually, just passing it. A bit of a bump, but not much. So, we're feeding it now with some, some um, liquid nitrogen, not as in the gas, but nitrogen the fertilizer. We're putting 50 kilograms onto the hectare of fertilizer and 128 liters of, um, of liquid with water being the carrier. So every tank full will have 3,000 liters in, but that will actually weigh nearly four ton because of the weight of the fertilizer suspended in the liquid. So I've got all the spring wheat to do, so I'll be doing this for a, for a good few days. Phone rang then. Uh, yeah, so there's uh, there's plenty to go at, so it'll either be me or Adam on with it to, to get it all on in the next few days. Just stop for a second here to show you the bit that was sown later on. Um, there's a few wild oats growing in it, but look how far behind the wheat is. I mean, this is because of the drought. So if we'd have sown the whole field this late, it'd have just been not much above my boot height instead of like this in here with a flag leaf out which is um, catching sun's energy and turning it into seeds um, yeah it'd have been a disaster really if we'd have had fields and fields that high so that, that won't catch up we probably won't harvest anything off this little square this year but you know it's better than looking at a bird patch I suppose yeah so the wild oats um, every time I take my phone out to film something people ring me so try again yeah so there's some of these wild oats in it you can see them standing high above the crop um they were in the in the seed so we, we did get the seed clean but probably not good enough so they're not worth taking out now that we we'll just have to live with them they look a bit scruffy and they'll there'll be a seed return for next year we'll have to sort out but it's just how it is but otherwise um it doesn't look too bad a crop really considering it's only 98 days old I did say yesterday I was going to do an update of the sunflowers and I forgot to put it in the video so I've come back today to do another one. So I've got a tape measure, there's the five foot mark, so they're up to there, so the four foot marks there, so they're, they're getting near five foot tall, covered in ladybirds if you can see, oh let me turn the camera, there you go, see so they're covered in ladybirds, so there's one on that one, there's one on that one, there's, there's loads of them. So you can see the flower just about to start forming in the middle there. So uh, I spoke to a couple of people and they reckon that within the next sort of like two weeks they might start to, to be flowering. So I'm gonna have to get the mower in, mow a maze, build a website, sort somewhere out to park cars and hopefully people can book a five minute time slot and every five minutes we can um, let, let a sort of a family through and they'll be able to walk around and through, the, through it all, go right up the field up there, visit the NHS ones, the letters up there, and then come back and then maybe we can get a, a, an ice cream seller, or um, someone doing coffee, and someone else maybe doing pizzas and different things, and it can be a bit of a bit of a day out for people, or well at least a few hours or whatever it'll take to, to sort of walk around them. So I'll probably need some volunteers or some staff to run it and um, sort the website out. That's the plan anyway. Just come to have a look at the maze that we drilled on Friday and already it's chitted. So it's just starting to put a root down and it's just starting to put a shoot up. So that's good. It's obviously uh, getting away a bit quicker this time. So it's mostly weed, but we'll sort that out, no problem. And hopefully it should, uh, should look better. 
this is one of the earlier maize plants now it's uh, just over two foot tall it should start growing really quickly now it's got a bit of moisture and we get some warm weather again at the end of the week so um i maybe should perhaps put a stick next to one of them and i'll measure it every day or something or every few days just to see how fast it grows but uh that's you know like i say that's over two foot now so that's about it for today anyway we've been finishing a fence as well and uh, digging some some drains at the new farm but i've not got any footage of that because i forgot so um, I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>